How long is a wire made from 85 centimeters cube of copper if its resistance is 20 ohms? The resistivity of copper is 1.7 times 10 to the negative 5 ohm meter. Marhaba! Welcome to another episode of Physics is Easy with Mr. Jesse. Now, in this problem, we are given 85 centimeters cube, and by just looking at the unit centimeters cube, that tells us that it is the volume of the copper wire. So we have volume of the copper wire that is equal to 85 centimeters cube. We also have the resistance of this copper wire, and that's 20 ohms. So that's R is equal to 20 ohms. And we are given resistivity of the copper wire. So it's symboled rho, which looks like a P, but it's actually a Greek letter rho, and that's equal to 1.7 times 10 to the power of negative 5, and the unit of resistivity is ohm meter. Now, initially, this might confuse you, confuse you because you have learned that the formula of resistance R is equal to resistivity multiplied by L divided by area, and there's no volume in this equation. However, you have to remember or you have to recall that volume is actually equal to area times length. And why do we say that volume is area times length? Remember, volume, say for example, of a rectangle is length times width times height. And multiplying any of these dimensions, we could have width times height. This is actually equal to area. So meaning from the given, from this volume that is given, we could actually come up with the area. So, if volume is equal to area times length, then we could say that area is just equal to volume divided by length. So, look at this equation here. Try to manipulate it, and we would express that in terms of A. So, we will have area is equal to volume divided by the length. Now you have to remember that area should be expressed in meters square and the length should be in meters. So me and the length should be in meters. But in this case, our volume is given to be in centimeters square. So we have to convert this into meters. So that's 85. And centimeters means times 10 to the power of negative 2. That's centimeters. And we have our 3 here. So we multiply this term by 3 so that 85 centimeters cubed is actually just equal to 85 times 10 to the power of negative 6 meters cubed. So this is our volume in meters cubed. So now... Um, let us rewrite this equation in by expressing area in terms of V times L. So we will have resistance is equal to resistivity multiplied by the length divided by, and instead of saying area as A, we will have V over L. Again, it's because area, which is A, is just equal to V over L. And we could simplify this further or we could rewrite this equation that resistance is equal to resistivity times L multiplied by L over V such that we will have resistance is equal to resistivity L squared over V. 
So now let us substitute our value so we don't really have to manipulate this equation so that we would be able to solve for L because it is the L that we are going to solve for. In this case, we need to solve for L. Now, if you have trouble in manipulating this equation, you just have to substitute our values based on the given. So our resistance is equal to 20. So we will have R is equal to 20. And that is equal to resistivity is 1.7 times 10 to the power of negative 5 multiplied by L, which is something that we are L squared rather, which is something that we should be looking or solving for, divided by the volume, which is in meters cubed now, and that is equal to 85 times 10 to the power of negative 6 meter cubed. So now let us try to solve for L without using a calculator. How do we do this? So first we will rewrite this entire equation. So we will have 20 is equal to 1.7 times 10 to the power of negative 5 L squared divided by 85 times 10 to the power of negative 6. So what I can do is to multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator of the right side of the equation. So I'll multiply this by 85 times 10 to the power of negative 6. I'll also have to do it on this side times 85 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 6 so that I will have um, 85 times 10 to the power of negative 6 times 20 is equal to 1.7 times 10 to the power of negative 5 L squared. I will be able to cancel the denominator. Okay, then I will have 85 times 20 is going to give me 1,000 700 times 10 to the power of negative 6 that is equal to 1.7 times 10 to the power of negative 5 L squared now I'm going to divide both sides by this quantity on the right side of the equation 1.7 times 10 to the negative 5. I also do it on the left side of the equation, 1.7 times 10 to the power of negative 5. That allows me to cancel these terms here. Sim simplifying this further, I have 1,700 divided by 1 1.7. So that term there is equal to 1000 let me just write the continuation of the equation here so that would be 1700 divided by 1 1.7 is equal to 1000 and now i have 10 to the power of negative 6 divided by 10 to the power of a negative 5 that should mean i will have to subtract their exponents so that means I will have 10 minus 6 minus negative 5. And that is equal to L squared. Moving on, I am then going to have 1,000 times. So we have 10 raised to the power of negative 6 minus negative 5 would be equal to 10 raised to the power of negative 1. And that is equal to L squared. Now, 10 raised to the power of negative 1, or we could write this entire term as 1,000 times 10 to the power of negative 1 is equal to L squared. And this quantity over here may be written as, as we move the decimal to the left, we will have 100 is equal to L squared. Now, since we have L squared, that means we will have to extract the square root of both sides so therefore our l is equal to 10 and don't forget the unit so that's l is equal to 10 meters and we have just solved our problem 
And that concludes this tutorial. Once again, always remember, physics is easy with Mr. Jesse.